When our students found out about this opportunity with the Institute of Physics, uh, working on cosmic ray projects, they were very um, excited about the project. The new building is the home for physics and we thought it would be really suitable to have a piece of research taking place in the building, supplementing the exhibition in the other areas. And a natural choice for that was a cosmic ray detector. We very much wanted the local students to be involved in that, so we had students from City and Islington College to come and build the detector and then we put it on our roof. When our students found out about this opportunity with the Institute of Physics, uh, working on cosmic ray projects, they were very excited about the project. They were enthused to have the possibility to do some real research and work with leaders in their field. I'm quite interested in physics, so I'd uh, potentially like to be a physicist in the future. It's great to be involved in the first high spark detector in London. The students were very excited to be in this very high tech, experience but at the same time realising that doing physics sometimes means wrapping things up in black plastic and gaffer tape and that was quite an exciting and surprising thing for them. I thought that uh, it requires a lot of technology and a lot of uh, preparation but it's just great how accessible it is to students like us to do a project like this. The next step, crucially, was to see if everything was working, make sure that the software was receiving the pulses, and there was a moment of jubilation when we found that was all the case and we saw the first data coming through. It excites me to be able to find new data, to use that data and to integrate it the way I want to, um, like a career scientist. It's great to have the Institute of Physics in the borough. Uh, you know, they allowed us to build a network of schools where students can collaborate. And it's great to have the influence of IOP to raise the profile of physics. 